It's a big day south of the border and it's one filled with all kinds of information, right and wrong. Social media giants are monitoring for misinformation. For more on this, let's bring in Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver. Good morning, Haley. Which social media platforms are keeping watch and what are they doing? Well, both Facebook and Twitter have very detailed plans in place to combat misinformation. Users on Facebook and Instagram will see a message pinned to the top of their feeds that says vote counting continues. Any kind of post that maybe declares a win prematurely will also be accompanied by a message that says that counting continues. And Twitter is going to do the same. If somebody tweets something that runs against what official sources are saying, that will be flagged. It's going to be a different night than it was in 2016, at least when it comes to what these platforms do to handle handle any kind of fake news or misinformation and CEOs of both companies will testify to lawmakers post election to talk about how they did handle election night. Mm -hmm. Well, we saw what happened last time. So absolutely. I bet they're monitoring it for sure. So let's have a look also at the Canadian shopping landscape. A well-known retailer has begun the process of closing up shop. That's right. Le Chateau last month sought bankruptcy protection and this week is beginning its liquidation process. So consumers can expect discounts between 20 and 40 percent in store at all Le Chateau locations. And there are more than 120, but also online. Unfortunately, there are about 900 employees still with the company who will be on board to facilitate these sales, but they will lose their jobs. The company has indicated that after this process finishes, it will be winding down its operations. Yeah, sad day to see another Canadian retailer are suffering through this pandemic. Thank you so much for bringing us the latest in business. That's Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver. Thanks. Thanks, Jen.